Hey. All right, so just roll with me. I just wanna talk about a few things. My business, my salon suite, my life, these clients and customers that be coming to me. <laughs> right now before my client comes in in about 30 minutes but you guys my thing is okay look first thing I want to talk about are like when people come to me I don't know if I intimidate people or what it is I don't think I do I think I'm very nice I am like the friendliest person my clients can talk to me about anything and everything period right but people are like amazed when they're like oh my god you're just you're just so nice and you're just so cool and you're just so down to earth and you know we could just talk about everything and laugh and have fun and blah 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 in the salon and i'm like yeah it's just me and you so like people are literally like oh man like you're just so cool and let's hang out and be friends and it's not that i don't want to hang out with my clients it's really not because i would love to a lot of my clients are cool like i could hang out with them on a regular day I am just so freaking busy, you guys, okay? I've had clients invite me to baby showers. I've had clients invite me all kind of places, you know, hey, I got free tickets for you to come here and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, look, I've taken my clients up on a lot of their offers and you know, I'll buy gifts for my clients and stuff like that. I am busy. I'm trying to run this business in here, this business over on YouTube. I'm trying to run my house with three, four kids, a husband, and it's just a lot it's a lot i got friends you know my best friends and you know i'm in their lives and i love them to death they're just an extended family then i have my you know my fa uh, extended family so it's a lot i have a lot that i gotta do and i love everybody and i wish i could come to everybody's event Dang, I got a pimple on my, I got a pimple on my forehead. Damn. So anyways, I would love to just come to everything. I wish I really could, to be honest, but I can't. I be feeling bad for my kids because they get invited to birthday parties and stuff like that on Saturdays. And I'm like, I work all day Saturdays. Like I can't go. My books are booked up for the month. You know, my clients book a month ahead of time. So it's definitely really hard for me. So I'm going to try and do better this year, 2022. <laughs> now, only for my kids but for me and my clients and stuff like that so some people let me talk about uh prices really quick with y'all salon prices not prices on my website salon prices so people need to understand i am by myself in a salon suite paying rent to you know the people who own this building i don't want i mean not that i don't want to be here i like it here i don't want to be in this space i want my own space that i own eventually but i pay more i don't pay booth rent i pay more to have my own room that I can talk to my own clients with one at a time. So that you're paying for everything. My clients, especially my clients with hair problems or issues, they appreciate it because it's just me and you in this space. We're the only ones that see you <laughs> looking however you look when you come in the door and you look better when you leave. Now, if I was in a salon, open salon with six to eight, whatever other stylist in it, my prices may be lower. Why? Because I'll be paying booth rent and it may be lower, but I'm not, I don't have a shared space. Everything that's in here, I have to purchase on my own. The salon people do not purchase this or do any of this for me. I have to do it on my own. So I think, cause I, I get some questions like that too from other people who want to get salon suite and they're like well what's included and i'm like nothing they give you your four walls they, well okay look they do give you a sink and one cabinet that's it um but they give you your four walls they give you a key you know the door good luck see you later everything else i have to pay for out of my own pocket and you're also paying for how closed in and how exclusive it is in here you're not in here with 10 other people getting their hair done everybody's looking at you crazy and it's just like my clients, my clients who actually have, you know, alopecia, traction alopecia, scalp issues, they don't like how short their hair is or whatever the case is. They appreciate being just us. We're vibing, just us. 
watching TV, chilling, having full blown, you know, personal conversations. I've had clients cry in my chair. And sometimes you can't get that when you're in a whole salon full of people or you're a stylist who works on 10 people at the same time. It's just a lot sometimes. So I think that I have grown to be in this type of environment for my clients because hair is a sensitive issue to a lot of people. And I do not just service African-American people. I have Asian people who sit in my chair and cry. I have Spanish, Latina people who sit in my chair and cry because they're like, I can't believe this is an option. They've been walking around with, you know, losing their hair and it's not too, you know, cancer or whatnot because then they, they know what's coming. When you get cancer, you kind of know like, man, I'm gonna eventually lose my hair. But no, these people are just losing their hair and they don't know why. So having this enclosed space for my clients to come so they can try on wigs and we can get things fitted for them, that is a luxury that I have learned to provide for my clients. Now, I'm not opposed to working in a salon where there's multiple stylists, but I feel like everybody needs to be on the same page because everybody's clients are not the same. So. That's why I have my salon suite. That was real deep and personal, but that's why I have a salon suite, you guys, because hair is sensitive to a lot of people. Oh my goodness. I'm thinking about getting another product line in here as well. I've been using Design Essentials for a long time, you guys, and I don't know, maybe I'm thinking about branching out. I love them. I have certain products that I would only use for them, but I am thinking about branching out to other professional hairlines. If anybody knows any that I need to try, I already have two that I wanna try already, but if anybody knows any that I absolutely need to try for my clients and myself, throw them in the comments below so I can try them because I feel like Design Essentials has, you know, has me kind of stagnant right now and I just feel like I need to branch out, I need to grow, I need to do bigger and better things. Not that Design Essentials ain't good. Design Essentials is still good. But um, I just feel like I need to do something different. So different and better for the new year. I think that's just how I'm feeling. What else do I got going on, y'all? I have new things coming. I am gonna try, look, let me see if I can move this. I am gonna try, you guys, to keep, there we go. I'm gonna try my absolute best to keep my hair wall stocked for you guys. <laughs> it's hard. Literally, sometimes when I buy hair for my website, it's gone. So like, I have my Indian hair up at the top, which I barely have any, but I have some coming. And then I have my Burmese curly hair at the bottom, which it's, it's kind of stocked a little bit right now, not too, too much. I have about 18 to 26 inches available so it's not so so bad but literally before i put this hair up here i had one bundle one bundle of hair up here and it was sad y'all the holidays y'all wiped me out i was trying to get orders out you know but y'all wiped me out and i'm so excited about that oh another thing my eye tips these are eye tips just a different color but my eye tips i'm gonna try to keep these we're gonna see if I can keep these in stock this year. Last year was just like a total, I can't keep nothing in stock last year, nothing. But I wanna see if I can possibly keep the eye tips in stock for my website. Maybe I'll start with like 16, 16, 18, and 20? Maybe 14, 16, 18. Somewhere around those, that ballpark. And then they have Burmese curly and they have the kinky curly as well. So I'm like, dang, am I gonna keep both? I don't know. Decisions, decisions. It's a lot to try to keep up with. I can't even keep my freaking wig wall <laughs> stocked up. I've been so busy with birthdays and the holiday, but I am definitely gonna try. People have been bugging me the last like two weeks trying to figure out why I have no wigs on my website. I am trying to get them out. I have custom orders. I gotta finish, I gotta try to get those out. There's a lot going on. But now that everything's kind of settled, the holidays are gone, I think by February 1st, maybe I'll just do February 1st, I wanna at least start dropping wigs on my website left and right on February 1st. Maybe like a wig a day 
I'll just post and have available. I kind of want to stick to natural colors. I've been really into natural colors lately, so I kind of want to stick to the natural blacks, browns, natural links. Maybe I'll do a few light browns. I don't know if I'll do a lot of blondes. I don't know. Maybe if somebody asked for it, or maybe I'll have like one or two. But I did a lot of blondes and ombres last year, and I'm just like, eh. I don't know if people are really looking for that right now. They may not be looking for it right now because it's winter time, but this one's just like a golden, golden blonde highlights kind of wig. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you guys. Let me guys let me know what you guys think I should post on my website more. What are you guys looking for? Um, when you guys go purchase a wig, are you just looking for something natural? You know, lace frontal, lace closure, natural black you know 18 to 22 inches somewhere around there um a lot of my clients lately maybe because i've had a lot of older clients lately but a lot of my clients lately been looking for like 12 14 16 that's it natural color i don't know <laughs> i don't know if it's just because they're older and they're just like give me something regular but I've been thinking of posting more like that. I haven't really gotten deep into getting another Brazilian hair vendor on my website yet. It's just, <sighs> my clients are so used to me doing Indian hair now that giving them a cheaper option, which is good for their pockets, but when they want hair to last years and years and years and years, that Brazilian hair ain't gonna do it. And y'all know, I just call it Brazilian hair because that's what my vendor calls it. And it really don't matter what you call it. You can call it anything and it's going to be the same hair. Hair from China is hair from China. So it is what it is. Not to say it's bad hair or anything like that, but it's just not going to last you as, as long. But they are very, you know, consistent for the most part. Besides that whole when the pandemic first started, they were, everybody was trash. But for the most part, they're very consistent. You're gonna get the hair the same exact way every single time. It's just not gonna last you a whole lot longer than like raw hair, Indian hair. I gotta talk about uh, raw hair for the Burmese hair in general as, as well. I took that off my website. I think I got into the habit of calling it that because that's what everybody else was calling it. And then that's what my vendor was calling it raw burmese but i'm gonna get into that in a whole nother video you guys all right maybe i'll do that video um for you guys tomorrow with my burmese hair that i have behind me so we'll see but that's pretty much it you guys i feel like people have been taking advantage of me who order hair from my website i've had some chargebacks this past holiday season so i'm trying to figure out what i'm going to do to combat like the chargebacks that i've been getting in a minute it's about to be cash only for everything nobody could pay off the website because i don't have time for it or i'm about to do every order that i get with regardless of what order it is you will have to email me a picture of your id and your debit or credit card that you use in order to verify your order before i ship it because the chargebacks that people have been getting i mean giving me is in Insane. and you guys know the more chargebacks you guys do to try to get your money back the more the less credible the business becomes so then like if you get too many chargebacks on paypal the paypal can kick the company off of their website altogether to where they can't use the service anymore or the more chargebacks that you get on i mean any kind of like stripe and all those other payment options they could eventually kick that business off so you guys lying and say you guys didn't get your hair or you guys didn't get your order or it wasn't you that did the transaction you guys are ruining these businesses in the future like it's not just oh i just got my money back and the business just lost that money and they lost the hair no you're losing credibility with these payment options to the point where nobody's gonna wanna represent these companies because they think they're scamming people and they're not. The customers are just charging back for no reason, no reason at all. So like when companies have these regulations to where there's no refunds, no you cannot get your money back, 
you have to send me payment and proof verification that you were the one who purchased the item that's the reason why they put you through all these hoops because small businesses cannot afford to have a ton of chargebacks okay and i've seen so many videos on people who are dealing with this issue because shopify i know shopify does it too if you have too many chargebacks or something uh some client or something doesn't want to pay you for whatever the case is they can hold your money however much money you have thousands of dollars hundreds thousands they can hold it for like 60 days now what what is the business going to do when they have no money the money that's in their shopify um account is held for more than 60 days because of that one or two people who decided they wanted to kind of do a chargeback that time like it is so frustrating for businesses small businesses especially me because i've been through it to have to go through this like this is so crazy and it's just it's just sad really to be honest so my payment is going to go a little bit differently in the future because this is getting insane with people and this is not just with my business i've been hearing a lot of other people's businesses who've had to stop selling hair because and i want to supply hair for you guys honest to god i do want to supply hair for you guys but if it becomes too much of a problem there's about to be a verification process in order for you guys to even get your hair which makes things longer and i know y'all don't want to wait for hair so i'm just saying it's getting it's getting real out here in these streets but this video getting real long let me go ahead and cut this <laughs> y'all know i could talk i could talk forever i'm used to talking to my clients all day but i'll be back on my youtube more often because now i'm trying to get more videos out for you guys so if you guys need anything from me i have a list of videos that my husband got set up for me that i need to do for you guys but if you guys are looking for something specific comment below let me know dm me y'all know y'all can contact me anytime and we'll get through it and we'll get these videos out all right Thank you guys so much for watching more videos like this subscribe below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye